speaking of sharing, did you know that every three seconds, someone in the world is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease? Mm -hmm. So in honor of World Alzheimer's Day this coming Saturday, we've invited our friend of the show and natural health expert, Bryce Wild, to share some mindful health habits to enhance our brain Good morning, B. Good morning, guys. I've done a lot of TV with you separately and together. <laughs> yes. First time ever That's together. True. This is so cool. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Put us all together and we can talk about all the things. Now, before we get into uh, talking about this connection, mm -hmm. you have a personal connection to Alzheimer's. Hits home. Uh, very close to the heart. My own mother was diagnosed uh, five or six years ago. Um, is in long-term care. Uh, with uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, it was such a shock to the family. It was like one of those scenes in Beautiful Mind. You walk into her condo, she's notes everywhere yeah. with my sister's name spelt incorrectly. So anyway, uh, in honor of her and her legacy, uh, I uh, started a company, co-founded the DNA company. We do brain screening for Alzheimer's and uh, other things, of course. And I wrote the book, Brain Spanners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the subtitle is one of those things I'm most proud about because it goes like this. What have you done for your brain today? And I'll tell you, I've got something that we can do every day, 60 to 90 seconds. My mother wasn't very good with, and this probably was correlated, yeah. and it is flossing. Flossing does more than you think, wow. I promise you. So that we're, that's what we're going to talk about. And by the way, I come from a family of dentists. There's nine dentists in my family. So oh that's another, gosh. yes, that correlation. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to well, oil health. Well, your teeth look great <laughs> also. Thank you. So you look perfect teeth. Right? Thank you. So flossing. So yeah, but talk about it. There's a real connection between oral health and brain health. Tell us about right. that. Right, so lots of literature coming out. This has to do with the bacteria that's really associated with periodontitis, okay. inflammation. Anything with itis means inflammation. Itis so is periodontitis not is not good. <laughs> no itis. But this bacteria actually gets systemic, gets into your bloodstream, mm -hmm. and can actually get up into the brain. Even more recently, the Frontiers uh, Neuroscience Journal of Aging, this is a research out of Tufts University mm -hmm. uh, in the US Boston, these, uh, you know, university scientists have now realized this bacteria has a direct correlation with instigating Alzheimer's when it does enter the brain. I talk a lot wow. about it in the book, actually. So I'm wow. pretty sure that's what was happening with my mother. So brain health and actually overall health starts in your mouth. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I think gum, uh, these guys at gum health have got this right. And the products that they're starting to invent and innovate. And one of my favorites, by the way, if we can get a tight of this, is this gum flosser. Okay. And this soft flosser, this gets between, I don't know if you've ever used one of these things, but it gets right between your teeth. My mom uses your these all the teeth. time. They're, she's so smart. She's so smart. There's something oddly yeah. satisfying about massaging yes. the gums, Is by the way. Is it like, Can I you like also it. admit that maybe <laughs> yeah. it's not? I don't, me, I don't want to do it. I'll I, admit it. I don't want to do it. And then I start doing it and I can't stop. Really? Oh, it's a good it's massage. It's a good feeling. The There's something massage. that starts happening. Mm, and it's I've, tingly. And mm. yeah, so not just the you know uh, circulation that gets there, but you're moving the bacteria out from in between the gum margins yeah. and you're mm. getting it, you're, you're, you're swallowing it or you're just getting it out of your mouth. So you're not yeah. allowing it to get circulatory so that it ultimately affects your brain. This I am with point. you though. It's like I, I have the routine at night is long enough. I don't want to add to it, but I do but force myself to, to do brain. it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So flossing, we know it's going to support your brain health. Yeah. Anything else we can do that's just as easy? Flossing does more than you think. So I'm always into ingredient supplements. Mm -hmm. I think there's yes. three that people should think about. Omega-3 Yes. I think that we should think about ubiquinol or coenzyme Q10, amazing for the heart, the brain, and the mouth. Oh. And then lastly, a new in innovative ingredient called peak ATP, okay. which is the downstream energy production for your body, your brain, and even your overall health. And you can look for this on an ingredient on your amazing. preferred supplement bottle called disodium ATP. So I love that stuff. I hope everyone was writing that all down. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. ATP. It's furious. so important. So Very in good. honor of World Alzheimer's Day, our friends at Gum, the oral care brand, is giving away $150 worth of gum oral care products plus a 200 retail gift card. To enter, head to breakfasttelevision.ca slash contests and click on daily prizing. Don't forget to use the keyword floss. Thank you, B, for joining us this morning. Thanks this was fantastic. Great to see yeah. you. Yes, Happy more BT after the break. Okay.